what's going on, Rise fam? Welcome back to another edition of On the Rise. We are so happy to see you again this this time around. We got uh, me, of course, you know, Captain Black, a.k.a. B. We got your boy over here, Jake, as always. And we got the lovely Ashley, as always. So we're coming back at you with a little bit more of this podcast where we're going to talk a little bit about this and a little bit about that and then hopefully interact with you guys and start talking about things that y'all want to talk about. So uh, go ahead, keep watching, like, subscribe, keep looking, let us know what you think about the content and just keep growing with us. So, you know, here we go, here we go. Uh First thing we're going to talk about today is that hat. See, he wasn't expecting that, y'all. We're going to talk <laughs> about this hat. Who you get this hat from, Jake? Talk to me about it. Oh, man. You see, this hat is from Worn Star Clothing, and that is with a W for you dirty-minded folk out there. Um, Yeah, they're a big rock and roll clothing company. Yeah, I, I wear a lot of their stuff. Them, Puncture Wounds Clothing, I rep them a lot. You see me out, chances are I'm wearing them. It's pretty neat. I mean, it kind of looks like a knockoff Death Bat from Avenged Sevenfold, but hey, whatever. Um, yeah, it's comfortable. It's oversized to fit my extremely large noggin, but yeah, it works. Not bad. Not bad. All right. I like that. I like that. So check this out then. As you guys can see, we do like to wear a lot of different things that we already like. So if you are a clothing company out there, a new designer, and you want to get a little bit of exposure, let us know. Just hit us up. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have a list of all the Instagram and social media contact pages on here anyway. So, you know, look down below, follow those links and let us know if you want us to go ahead and uh, shout you out sometimes here on the podcast. All right. So what we got up next this week, a lot of the times people, what we like to talk about is some of the music that we hear because we're all big music fans up here for us, both locally and nationally and me personally, internationally, you know, I'm pretty sure Jake and Ashley can listen to just about anything that, the planet has to offer, you know, not that we like everything that's out there, but we'll at least give it a chance so we can talk about it. So this week, this time around, we was talking about three songs that we actually heard and I like. And so I'm going to go ahead and kick it off. And this is by a dude named Ganja White Knight. Yeah, that's right. It's drum and bass. So I know I listen to a little bit of everything. You know, you're going to hear some things from metal because like last week we was doing some you know, crosses and some other things of that nature. So, yeah, on this program, you're going to hear a little bit of everything. But I did want to bring attention. Now, it's an older song. It's back in 2021. But I got a really nice stereo system that I listen to some stuff on. And when I say this song hits, if you got groceries for speakers, just go ahead and don't even bother. Because this is going to just tear up the bags. So it's like if you got a little something, something that you like to hear about, you're going to want to check this out. It's Ganja White Night. And it's called White Lotus. That song is pretty dope. So uh, if you're into that kind of music, check it out. You know, if you like heavy bass, if you like nice dance, like beats, you know, electronic music, that's another good one. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So what did you guys listen to this week? Oh, well, I got a song from my Ohio boys, Star Set, uh, featuring Breaking Benjamin, actually. Um, for those who didn't know, born and raised in Ohio, based in Florida now, but got to give love to the Ohio boys and Star Set. Um, they had a song that came out the end of last year uh, called Waiting on the Sky to Change. This song was interesting because when I saw it featured Breaking Benjamin, they're one of my favorites. I had to give it a listen. Um, it's one of those songs that you could honestly take a lot of different ways. But after t- listening to it, I like deep lyrics. So basically for me, say if your life's not going the way you want it to, you can't just sit there and sulk in the misery. You got to do something to change, get out of it, surround yourself with winning people, better situation, make yourself happy, get after it, not just sit there and expect change. You got to make that change happen. So I really like that. That's how I took the song. Obviously, you can take the song however you want. That's just my personal take on it but i really liked it really catchy obviously ben burnley's voice is amazing in my opinion anyway so yeah that was my song that's pretty i actually sweet. really like that right i was like i was huh. listening to it i'm like how can we take this and then i really started listening to it i was like mm-hmm. yeah, it's pretty good so yeah and what i liked good. about um brian's was it was like dubstep kind of Right? I needed my glow stick. I felt like I needed to get out there, shake the booty on the dance floor. I hope someone gets video of this because that would be hilarious. There is video of me shaking my booty at weddings. It's, it's out there. 
Oh, okay. Right. You have to find that and put clips on that for for sure. Mm, yeah, definitely. See, I appreciate the way you guys listen to music. I was just saying that because y'all actually check out the lyrics, see mm -hmm. what it's about. You know, a lot of people just don't. You know, and it's just sometimes it's just straight garbage, some of it. But I'm just saying, you know, I like that. Plus, you know, the catalog that you guys listen to, it's not like just one thing. So, you know, I, mm -mm. I appreciate that about those who listen to music. And for all those out there, you know, open up that catalog, you know, allow your mind to open up and hear something different. You never know what you'll like. I mean, at one point in time, I wasn't a I, well, I'm still not a fan of country music. But I can't lie, there's some songs out there that's actually pretty hot. So, you know, you never can tell. You know, like they say, you can't judge a book by its cover. You can't really judge music by this genre either. So, yeah, that's pretty. That's dope. like the Flow Rider song that yeah. I picked, "Country." Now, it, it was amazing. Yeah, it really was. So, what what'd you get this week, Ash? So, I picked a local band out of Orlando here, um, Filth, Get Up, Two Point Oh. Uh, it really, really gets the crowd going. But my little secret to this song is I would listen to it right before an exam and I would nail it. The one time I didn't listen to it, I failed my test. So it's a ritual now. And it really just gets you going from point A to point B, if you get what I'm saying. So I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. It was the first time I got to hear it this week. And I was very happy to be able to uh, talk about it on this episode because a lot of the times when I personally, now you guys, you guys might have a different experience, but when I personally sometimes hear some local bands, they don't have that, that, oomph, you know, mm -hmm. that, that little bit of, that little bit of dirty on it behind it, you know, it gets you moving. But I did mm -hmm. like this song. It, it, it did. It, it carries you through something that, you know, I definitely hit the gym and do a bit of working out with for sure. So. Oh, you'll be hurting. That's for sure. Yeah, that, was <laughs> right. that mug is, that's a good choice, Ashley. I was glad you yes. brought that one out. And as always, we'll have links to the songs from our Apple Music playlist down here in the, in the um, comments. You know, hopefully I'll try to find some for Spotify as well. Make sure everybody can get it. YouTube as well. and Try to get a hold of it. But um, there'll be links down to the song so you can hear what we're talking about. We can't give you samples on here because they're going to get us for copywriting. But <clears throat> we'll still make it available for you so you ain't got to look for it. So no worries on that one. What other news we got going on well, if Jake will just grab his list and um, explain the interview we have coming up. No, oh, yes, yes. Uh, speaking of Filth and Get Up 2.0, um, we do have an interview with Jay from Filth. Um, if you're interested in checking that out, be sure to check out the links down below as well. We'll have that posted up. You know, get to know the band members a little bit better, kind of dive in, ask them some questions about music, personal life, you know, all of it. We like to get to know everybody as a person, too, outside of what they do. So that's what we do here. I was on the rise. So be sure to check it out. Yes. Like I was saying, watch us grow. I know everything seems a little bit rough now, but don't worry. It'll get better as we continue to grow. But look, already we're only on our second episode and we already getting some love for interviews. So continue to keep watching. Continue to let us know. Drop a comment on some bands that you would like us to interview we're always looking so that's the whole point of this show we're trying to help people get out there to help us so if you got some local bands it don't matter what genre it is drop a link down for us in the comments so we can go check it out and see if it works so uh, you know hit us up hit us up and don't forget we're branching out from music as well models um stores games all of that exactly exactly so like I said, as we grow, you're going to see more stuff. Uh, we'll be starting editorials soon. I think I mentioned that before. Uh, Jake has some pretty amazing upcoming photo shoots that we'll give you some sneak peeks into before it gets released into the magazine as well. Mm -hmm. and I think something that we'll be discussing with you guys a little bit later on and how it works and what it'll be doing for 2023 and beyond. So you're going to want to stay tuned. You definitely want to stay tuned. Now, I don't know about you out there in YouTube land, Rise fam, but over the weekend, I got to watch this show. It was called um, Echo 3, and uh, it's all done now. You can go ahead and binge watch it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if you guys get a chance and y'all are into some, I guess, action, adventure, military-style kind of special ops 
that kind of thing, this is definitely one that you're going to want to see, and it's on Apple TV. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't have Apple TV, ooh, sorry. But it's still a pretty good show if you do have it. So uh, if you get a chance, check it out. You know what I'm saying? That's at least a recommendation I can put out there. There's a couple of more that's on Netflix, but I'm going to save them for later. I got to make sure I can do that without giving any spoilers because it was pretty good. So, you know, stay tuned on that one. All right, Rise fam, just like we were saying before, quick and dirty. What we're trying to do is keep these 10-minute episodes rolling. They may go a little bit longer in the future. It just depends on what we got going on. But like I said, just stick with us. We know it's a little bit rough, but continue to watch and to see how we grow and just enjoy some of the things that we're going to try to bring to you throughout this year. But for myself, Captain Black, a.k.a. B, for Jake, and for Ashley, we appreciate you tuning in once again. Don't forget, don't forget to uh, click that subscribe button and leave us a like. At least let us know what it is that you uh, want to see us continue to do or actually bring on to the channel. And we really appreciate it. So y'all take it easy. Make sure you stay blessed and have a great evening.